Hey up YouTube and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part 11 of my Final Fantasy 7 No Random Encounters Challenge. After finally having lost Numbers Number, we grabbed the key to the basement of Shinra Manor along with the most powerful summon at this point of the game, the Odin Materia, and make our way downstairs. We unlock this door here and... Jesus <coughs> Christ, there's a bloke asleep in a coffin. Turns out that this doesn't phase Cloud at all and he's quite happy to start conversing with someone covered in cobwebs. They also both have a mutual Facebook friend in our silver-haired fox. <laughs> Cloud then proceeds to tell the now animated vampire dude the tale. It's not reciprocated though, as Mr. Vampire Man then tells Cloud and the gang to f*** off so we can let him go back to bed. As it happens, all Sefi's ears must have been burning, as right on cue, we bump into him in the next room. He mumbles something about a reunion, chucks some materia at us, before turning into a rocket ship and jets off towards Mount Nebel and the Nebelheim reactor. Just as we're about to follow him though, we get accosted by Mr. Vampire Man again, who just cannot wait to stick it to Sephiroth, and decides he's going to come with us. Welcome, Vincent, you weirdo. After wandering up the mountain path and coming across some familiar areas from Cloud's past, we slide down some tubes Whee! and prepare to take on the Materia Keeper. Here we are then, boys and girls. Here we are in Mount Nebel. We're about to take on the Materia Keeper, Materia Guardian, whatever you want to call it these days. We're still going with the same three. We've still got Cloud, Barrett and Aerisith. And, uh, yep, here we are. Let's uh, see what we've done to get them here. So, if we go straight away, first of all, to Cloud. Well, first of all, what I'll tell you with Cloud is we've picked up the Rune Blade for him, which we got uh, on the Mountain Trek um, up to the Mount Nebel Reactor. So, we have equipped him with the Rune Blade, which uh, gives him double AP as well as the Force Stealer, but there's one extra Materia slot as well, which is Fan Dabby Dozy. So, uh, yep, we've given him Poison. Um, an added effect. They're not linked. I, I haven't got a choice, really. I want added effect to get the AP, and uh, a lot of bosses in this game can be poisoned. So we're giving him that. We've also given him enemy skill, uh, because this boss has an enemy skill called Trine, which at this stage of the game is absolutely badass. So hopefully he'll use that. Not KO anybody, but at least we can learn it. And we've also given him Odin Materia, which we picked up um, after we defeated Lost Number. That was a little bit of Materia that fell out of the safe. We've also given him an All Materia there. Again, just for AP. Uh, long Range, Back Row Cloud, and as well as Fire and Elemental. Moving on to Barrett, we've still got he's still got his enemy launcher, but we've given him All and Restore, as always, Mr. Tank Barrett. An Ice Materia Cover as well as an all material in there, again, just for the AP. Uh, we've also given him Ifrit and uh, Lightning and Elemental. Now, the Trine uh, that I mentioned is a Lightning-based attack, so hopefully, with that Elemental and Lightning added into his armor, that should hopefully give him a little bit of a buff. Moving on to Aerisith, uh, we've given her the Wiser Staff, which we got from Lost Number, double AP boost, four slots, no links. Uh, so giving her an all materia, uh, Titan and Chocomog, as well as the enemy skill, because if we can get Trine twice, that would be lovely. Uh, and then we've also given her fire and gravity and all. Right then, let's uh, see if we can kick the materia keeper's arse, shall we? Right then, here we go, here we go. Right, Aerosuth, straight away, I want you to Chocomog and Trine straight away. Okay, Barrett, you're just going to have to cure, please, because that's going to do a lot of damage. Um, Cloud, Bio, please. Oh, Fat Chocobo for a change. That doesn't happen very often. Problem with that is it doesn't paralyse. Well, I don't think it does anyway. Right. Uh, Aerosith, have you got any other materia? Uh, yeah, alright, Titan. And he's poisoned. Lovely stuff. Should also note as well that I did put um, tranquilizers on him again and they're all in the back row, so they are going to take considerably less damage in the back row, as well as being tranquilized for sadness. Right, Barrett, what can we do here for you? Um, no, I can't. No, fire. He's actually absorbs fire attacks, doesn't he? So that is going to be useless. Uh, attack. Cloud, you can attack. Aerosith, you can... What does Demi work? Does Demi work on bosses? I can't remember. It does not. What a waste. Uh, 
Right, Cloud, Odin, Aerosith, um, let's attack, Barret, uh, what summons have you, no, that's pointless, um, that's also quite pointless, I might just have you attack and all when you can. Come on, Barrett. Please. Ugh. Barrett, cure, please. Cloud, uh, you can attack. Do you know what? It might just be an attack fest now because the material I've actually got is probably not going to do enough. See, he's only got it for it. Needs, uh, it's just going to have to be an attack fest, I think. Come on, Barrett. I need you to cure yourself, mate. Oh, box, he's dead. Uh, right. Phoenix down, please. Where are they? Oh, Christ, it would be at bleeding bottom. Where are they? Oh, there we go. Right. Uh, Aerosith, item, high potion. Might be it. No, in fact, actually, no. Barrett, cure yourself, please, pal. Yeah, attack fest. All out attack, please. Because I've not got anything else, really, that is going to do out trying. Oh, God. At least it's limits. Big shot. Healing wind. Cross slash. I actually kind of want Aerith to get her healing winged in. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. Back on track, I think. Paralyzing, maybe? Yes. Lovely. Attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack, attack. Keep going. Just keep attacking now because he's poisoned. He's 200 odd damage every time here. Oh dear. Might be worth curing you, Barrett. Oh, there we go. There we go. Materia Guardian, done. Right. And a gem ring. Can't remember what that does. Right. Now we're going to make his way over to Rocket Town to meet uh, our lovely buddy Sid. So you hang fire for a few nanoseconds and we'll be right back. Right, well, hang on. Just before we get to Rocket Town, do you remember at the very, very, very beginning of the series, I said there'd be a time that we turn around and encounters off? Well, now is that time because we need to recruit, recruit. We need to recruit our lovely little materia thief, Yuffie. So um, yeah, I've turned round at random encounters off, and I'm now just going to run around this little foresty area just for a moment, um, just to see if we can find her. No, oh, here we are. Have we got it? We do indeed. I am just going to attack here. And the reason we've gone to get her here is because at this stage of the game, you have about a 40% chance. Uh, I think you have about a 40% chance of, uh, of encountering her. Or it goes up by 40%. I I'm not quite sure. Either way, we're now going to recruit Yuffie.
and I'll just have to see if I can remember <laughs> the, the, the commands to actually recruit her. Not interested. Thinking of running away. What's the matter? Are you scared? I am petrified. Of course I am. All right, bye. Wait a second. That's right. Let's hurry on. <laughs> we all know your name. It's Yuffie. And what you might find is she will become a staple of the party later on because she's long range and she has a limit break that can heal as well so uh, she will be a staple of the party moving forward well after we get onto this too probably and that's it Yuffie should now be available there she is. Lovely stuff. Right then, we'll turn random encounters back off. And we'll make our way to Rocket Town. Now we've got our lovely Materia Thief in tow, what could possibly go wrong, eh? But more on that a bit later. For anyone wondering why it's called Rocket Town, it might have something to do with this gigantic f***ing rocket. After listening to some old bloke give us the lowdown, he gives us a big ass sword for our time. Nice one, guy. After a bit of retail therapy and a rest, we burst into some poor bugger's back garden to find a little plane. Being the thieving b that she is, Yuffie wants to steal it. But this woman here in the Hojo lab coat tells us that if we want it, we've got to speak to the captain. She also tells us that only 11.5% of you who watch these videos are actually subscribed to the channel. So do your boy a solid and click that like button and subscribe to the channel for future content. Introducing the third new recruit to the episode, Sid, a washed up old pilot who's always dreamed of going into space. We're made privy to the fact that Rufus Shinra is on his way, and Sid is hoping this means that the Shinra Space Exploration Project is back on track. Turns out though, the buggers have only come to see him because they want that little plane, and Fat Man Palmer has plans to steal it. Not on our f***ing watch he is. Right then, here we are boys and girls. We've just met Sid, we're in Rocket Town, we're just about to try and snatch the tiny Bronco, but uh, there's someone in his way, and that's Fat Man Palmer from Shinra. So we are just about to go into the Palmer boss fight. Uh, let me show you what we've done and who we've got and what we've got set up wise. So um, the first note that you'll probably see is we've brought Yuffie straight in. There is a reason to that. Um, in the next episode, we will be going straight into the Wutai side quest mission because the gill that you can get for that is absolutely insane. So we have brought Yuffie into the party straight away because we want to be able to challenge the Pagoda and get her, you know, as, as far as we can, basically. Um, so Yuffie has come straight into the party, uh, but let me show you what we've done with uh, Cloud and Ares and Yuffie. Uh, Yuffie? Yuffie. Uh, so yeah, here we go. So Cloud, we've got the Yoshi Yuki from um, the bloke in Rocket Town. If you stand with him and he tells you a little bit about the story of the rocket, he just gives you a really, really nice weapon. Um, it's not got many material slots at all, as you can see, but it's a very, very fun, good weapon. Um, so what we've done with this is we've given him poison, so we can poison Palmer and uh, counter-attack material as well. Uh, we've also given him elemental and fire and long range and all that all material. Again, he's not doing anything. That is, I I've not touched that at all. I've not touched those four material slots at all. Uh, let's move on to Yuffie. Um, we've given her the Twin Viper, which was a weapon that we picked up. A little bit earlier on, I can't quite remember where we got that from, uh, but we've given her that, um, which I think has, uh, let me just have a look, I think this has double AP, yes it does, um, so yeah, we've given her lightning, titan, ice and enemy skill, not really relevant at this point because there's there's no enemy skills you can learn from Palmer, uh, we've also given her death blow, restore and all link slots there in her carbon bangle, moving on to Aerosith, 
we've given her all and we've spent an awful lot of gil on barrier we're about 10 grand um but it's gonna be invaluable moving forward so we've given her barrier and um choco mog and then here we've also got enemy skill again uh an all materia just for the ap odin and uh, another all materia uh that's it right then so let's uh, prepare to kick palmer's ass shall we right then here we go here we go palmer does a lot of mako gun attacks like this one um so i'm not quite sure if barrier is going to be much use here but we certainly need to try and poison the bugger First appearance for Titan, I believe, in the series. Maybe. I'm not quite sure. Right. Bio, Yuffie. Um, I'm going to get you to cure. Yeah, good idea. Um, no, not Barrier again. Shock or Mog. Magic. Bio again. Poison the bugger, please. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why I've cast Barrier. Because I, I, I think all his attacks are actually just magic. Uh, why don't you do... Oh, enemy skill. Why don't you try and do try and... You can also... Right, you can do Odin. Cloud, you can bio. What? Oh, he is poisoned. Ah, uh, pointless. Did I give Aeris a uh, restore, or has she got barrier? I can't remember. It's a bloody rape summon this, isn't it? Oh, over a thousand damage. I think that's the first time I've done it in the series. Right, Yuffie's got cure. I'm only really doing it for you because you need it. Um, no, there, yeah, enemy skill. You can do trine. Cloud, you can attack. You're going to have to cure again here. Who is it? On yourself. Aerosith. Bloody hell, Cloud. What are you missing for? Pudding. My God, what is going on here? Oh, right. Who's this going on? Cloud. Cross slash. We are cooking on proverbial gas, boys and girls. Paralyzing. Yes. Oh, no. And that is it. Because now he's going to get run off. Bye! <laughs> Love it. And that's Palmer. Done! And some lovely experience. Fan Dabby Dozy. Now to escape on the tiny Bronco. Some of the visuals in this for 1997 are absolutely stunning, aren't they? What 
that's it. Up on. Oh, don't cheat your and don't piss in him. <laughs> Love it. Can't wait to see what he's like in Rebirth. Stick around on the channel, guys, because we've got more Final Fantasy VII No Random Encounters here. And we've also got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth action right here. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed. My name is Matt better known as the Yorkshire Gamer, and thank you very much for watching.